Welcome to another episode of Ask Professor V. And this week's episode, we're going to be answering a question from Aziz from Uzbekistan. Question is as follows. How to get the motivation to study calculus? It's like two days I get motivation and after that five days break. Any suggestions? Yes, Aziz, I have so many suggestions for you. I actually love this question. And I'm gonna give advice basically, not just studying calculus, studying in general, okay? And the piece of advice is this, how to stay motivated? You don't. Motivation comes and goes. The only thing that you can count on is self-discipline, a routine, and holding yourself accountable. The thing is, it's easy to do things when you're motivated, not just schoolwork, okay? Any sort of task, any sort of um, pursuit that you have, when you're feeling like it, when you're in the mood, it's easy to do those things. What will set you apart from the majority of people is being able to do things even when you don't feel like it, even when the motivation is gone. And motivation isn't consistent. It will come and go. Like you said, Aziz, you'll have it for a couple days and then it's gone. But what you need to do is get that mindset turned on where you have a study schedule and you stick to it even when you don't feel like it. And I have obviously a little bit of story time, some examples that I want to share with you guys because I've seen this firsthand in my life. And it's easier for some people, you know, to be really self-disciplined than others, but it's a characteristic that you can develop. The more you practice holding yourself accountable, it'll get easier. So first example was when I was in high school, I took AP Calculus and my teacher would assign homework at every class meeting but he only collected it the day of the exams. So what's human nature? What do you think the majority of students did? They waited until right before the exam to do all their homework. He also would give us a review assignment before the exam. So needless to say, there was a lot of frantic energy going on at the review sessions prior to our exams. A lot of students were cramming, trying to get homework done and study for the test. I don't know why, I have a type A personality, so me personally, waiting till the last minute to do homework was just never an option that occurred to me, okay? I held myself accountable to a schedule that even though the teacher wasn't collecting homework, I would make myself get it done before I went to the next class meeting. And that's so crucial in math because you can't learn the next section's material without having a solid understanding of whatever information comes prior to it. And with that mindset, I was very successful in that class because then when time came to do the review assignment before the exam, I only had a few exercises to do. I didn't have this nervous energy. I didn't have cramming to do because I had been consistently doing my work all along the way and doing homework, not just to get it done. He wasn't collecting it. I did it for me so I could understand the material. And that's really also something you have to turn on in your brain is that you don't do assignments just to get them done. You get them to learn, to study. And I had a schedule. Mind you, I was very busy, okay? So I took five AP classes, advanced placement classes that year. I also um, studied classical ballet for about 16 years. So at the time I was taking ballet after school for a couple hours, four to five times a week. So I was a busy bee, but I had my schedule. Did it mean sometimes I didn't go out with my friends? Absolutely. But not doing my homework consistently was non-negotiable. That's really how you have to think of it. Sure, sometimes I felt like doing math and then sometimes I didn't, but it didn't matter. I did it anyways, okay? And so you have to set up a schedule for yourself that's reasonable, but something you can stick to and you're just gonna have to be like a little machine about it. It doesn't matter how you feel, you do it anyways, okay? And I've been posting on my Instagram just a few, you know, little motivational quotes. And one thing I hear so many people say, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that. Instead of saying, I don't have time for it, switch your phrasing to, it's not important to me and see how that feels. Because we really make time for the things that are most important to us. And if you're not making time for something, then maybe you need to reevaluate what your real priorities are, okay? Just being real. Another thing I did wanna share, because it's outside of the realm of academia, um, has to do with fitness. So I did mention that I did classical ballet for many years. I actually stopped taking class when I started graduate school. It was just too much for me to balance. But later on, I got back into fitness 
and my uncle actually introduced me to bodybuilding and I loved it immediately. I love the discipline that it takes. Um, it takes a lot of patience too when you're bodybuilding because you don't get results immediately. And I've been training and working out in that style for, oh my goodness, almost 10 years now, okay? And I'm sure you guys know people will get motivated to work out and you'll probably hear them, oh my goodness, I'm on this new workout kick and they'll do it for a, a week, a month, who knows? And then it fizzes out, right? My workout schedule is non-negotiable. So every day there's some sort of fitness in my schedule that I allot time for and I feel good about it and it's consistent and I don't go through waves where I don't work out for an extended period of time. It's just part of my life. I don't, I don't negotiate. I don't have a conversation with myself. Do I feel like doing it today? No, nah, I'll just skip. No, I don't do that. So that's how it has to be too with your homework and with your studying. It doesn't matter how you feel, you do it. And if that's too hard for you to swallow, if you go, I don't know if I can bring myself to do that, then maybe you don't really want whatever it is you're setting out to achieve all that badly. Maybe you need to reevaluate what your real goals are. Are you in school because someone's making you, your parents? Are you studying something you don't really want to study? So think about that too, okay? And to quote my father, just put your head down and work. He would always say that. Stop the, but what if, oh, but I feel like, no, just stop having the dialogue. Stop overthinking things. Put your head down, work, get it done. Okay, so that's my short and sweet piece of maybe real advice. I don't know if you were ready to hear it, but it served me well over the years. So just give it a shot, non-negotiable people. Okay, that concludes this episode of Ask Professor V. Keep your questions coming. I love them so much. I have one more that's gonna be recorded shortly, but send them in. The quicker they come in, the more episodes you'll get. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications bell if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for your all support.